Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in around July 2020, I made a video on the LG Tone Free FM6 headphones. Now, these were my go-to in-ear earbuds, and just in general, the portability, size, batch life, and overall sound quality definitely won me over, and I still use them today. But now LG are back with the Tone Free FN7. They've got a slightly refreshed design, they've still got the Meridian tech on board, great sound quality, but now they also have active noise cancellation. So, let's take a look. Now, quick disclaimer, these earbuds were sent out for the purpose of review, but everything in this video is of my own thoughts and opinions. Now, to start off, they come in at around £179 here in the UK, and of course, like everything else that I mentioned in any video, they're going to be linked in that description down below. They come in both black and white. Now, for me, I do prefer the black model. You've got a matte case instead of a white glossy case, and overall, I prefer the stealthy look. Now, in terms of the actual design, if you've seen the Tone Free FN6, then you've pretty much seen the FN6. FN7. From the outside you can't really tell which is which until you actually open the case and see the earbuds and even then it's very minimal in regards to design change but I actually do like the new look. Now with that design comes the case and it's pretty much identical to the last model with the FN6. Now with the FN7 you've still got all of the awesome features that you had before. You've got the small size that fits perfect into a change pocket, wireless charging, a USB-C charging and just in general a really great small package. Now it does come with two LED lights, one to tell you when the case and headphones are charging, and one to let you know when the UV light is doing its thing. Now speaking of that UVC light, the FN7 come with UV nanotech built in. Now what this essentially does is it shines an invisible light on the actual earbuds themselves on the speaker mesh, and what that's going to do is kill around 99% of bacteria. Now, like I mentioned, UV light is actually completely invisible, but you do have this cool blue light effect here. Now, yes, it is mainly for aesthetic purposes, and I wish that you could turn it off. I'm not really sure the impact that it has on the overall battery, but it looks pretty cool. And again, with this black case with all of the darkness inside, it actually looks really cool and pretty unique. Now the case in the earbuds comes in at around 21 hours worth of batch life which is plenty and with a 5 minute charge you're going to get an hour's worth of listening. So if you wake up in the morning and you haven't put your headphones on charge overnight for example, you're not going to have any problems, put them on while you're getting ready and then you can have plenty for your commute to and from work. And now on to the earbuds. Now first up they have IPX4 water resistance. So what that means is in regards to sweat and rain, you're not really gonna have any problems at all. So if you do wanna wear these while you're out and about or during a workout, then they're gonna be perfectly fine. Now they've re-engineered the actual audio unit itself, which is gonna allow for a really deep bass and overall clearer sound. Once again, they've partnered up with Meridian Tech, and what that's gonna allow for is really clear vocals and just in general, a deeper sound profile. It also gives you some really great options in regards to custom EQ, which we'll get onto in a moment, but overall the sound quality is extremely good. Now yes, if you've got the FN6, you may not see a massive difference, but if you're spending £179 on some other earbuds, maybe from Apple or Samsung for example, these ones in my opinion are definitely going to offer the richer sound profile. Now something that's not always talked about with headphone reviews is the call quality. Some people out there do still make telephone calls, and these work extremely well. They do have a three microphone array, some for noise cancellation, and also just in general for the the microphone pickup and again they do sound really good. The Bluetooth on board also does a really good job and it's some of the best delay that I've ever seen. If you're watching a movie or TV show or playing a mobile game for example you're not really going to notice that latency that you do get with some other earbuds. Now you can also download the LG Tone Free application for both iOS and Android and this basically allows you to see exactly how the headphones work. It's got a built-in manual you can see what the LED lights do but the main reason you want to use it is for those custom EQs. You've got four different ones to choose from. Immersive is my personal favourite and sounds absolutely incredible, but if you do want to tinker around, you can actually customise two of your own EQ presets. This is also where you're going to be able to change your settings for noise cancellation and audio pass through, so again if you do want this higher or lower, that's going to be where you can do it. Now I'm going to use the same example from the FN6 review that I've done in July in regards to the audio pass-through feature. What it basically allows you to do is with a simple tap of the earbud, it allows you to basically pass through sound that's outside into the earbuds themselves. Now yes, there is a very slight delay, but overall it does a really good job if you're out and about and it's a little bit busy and you do need to hear the outside noise, this is a great option without having to take out and possibly lose one of the earbuds. Thank <laughs> you. 
So overall the LG Tone Free FN7 is a great upgrade to the FN6. Now do you actually need to go out and upgrade if you've already got the previous model? I would personally say no. Yes the sound quality is a little bit better and you do get active noise cancellation, but if you do have the previous model, like I mentioned before, batch life is great, the small case is great, the overall design is amazing, so I wouldn't necessarily rush out to get them. However if you are in the market for a brand new pair of active noise cancelling earbuds, or you're getting a little bit bored of your Apple AirPods, or they don't necessarily fit like you'd like them to, then the FN7 are a great overall option. And I would actually get these over the Apple AirPods. You're going to have a cheaper price, better battery life, overall sound quality is going to be way better in my opinion, and the overall design, again with that stealthy look, you can't really get those Apple AirPods in matte black or just in general a darker colour without paying a premium and going through a third party service. So again, to have multiple colour options and the better sound quality, and again, like I mentioned, they are cheaper, these are definitely the ones that I would go for out of the two. They also fit a lot nicer in my ear, but that's more of a personal preference. And that's going to do it guys for this video on the LG Tone Free FN7 wireless earbuds. Now if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And once you've hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.